Today we are going to be unboxing and trying some mystery art supplies out of this palette full pack. This is a monthly subscription box where you can get some art supplies and I was told there might be some watercolor in here I might be interested in. So thank you so much to Palette Full Pack for sending me this box. If you want to get your own and check them out, there's a description. No, there's a link in the description. There's not a description in the link. Let's see what's in here. I'm really curious. Do, do, do. Oh gosh. Look at these little, little doodles. We can decorate, uh, can decorate the desk. Wow, how exciting. I'm going to regret this mess later. All right, so our first thing here looks really familiar. I actually did a video last week with these watercolor postcards, these exact same things, and I gave them away. But that's pretty cool, I can do another giveaway. What do you guys think? Should I do another postcard giveaway? I really enjoyed sending some watercolor postcards out to you guys. So yeah, I'd like to do it again. What do you think? You can address it, write a little note, and then color on this side. Okay, so on top of the watercolor postcards, we also have a Strathmore visual journal, which I've actually used these two before. Lots of nice paper. What kind of paper? 140 pound watercolor paper, cold press, my favorite by Strathmore. This is all art supplies. I would love to uh, keep stocking. So you guys are hooking me up with things to keep me going. That's pretty cool. So the first thing I see here is this Derwent watercolor pencil in brown. Oh gosh, okay, so I actually have the, I think 24, 48, 36. I have a Koi watercolor set already and it's a very large one, but the smaller, the better, honestly, because when you travel, you don't wanna carry a lot. So here we go. And our last thing here are these Niji pearlescent watercolor set. Ooh. I'll be honest, I already own quite a few sets of pearlescent watercolors and honestly, I'm not a huge fan. I just kind of like my art to be flat and boring. I'm not really into sparkle or shiny things, but you know, let's play around with these and see what we can do in this video. Look at them. Let's see how shiny they are. Oh my gosh, why did I, why did I dump this out? This was big regret, big regret. Okay, I'm going to get to swatching and trying out these watercolors in the paper, and then later we're going to do some postcard doodles for a giveaway again. Something I've always liked about the Koi watercolors is you can get a lot of color from them. I just think they're a little chalky. I think they're good for beginners, but they're just, they're a little chalky for me. I mean, you can't go wrong with how vivid and colorful these watercolors are. I mean, they're pretty great. Though I am quite familiar with the Koi set, so I'm actually pretty excited to try these, even though I'm not super into them. I'm ready to give them a go. Let's see, let's see how they are. When it comes to me using pearlescent watercolors, I always think it's best just to use them as a little accent or just a little extra detail if you want something shiny. I think that's what they are best used for. I'm not sure I would ever color a whole image with pearlescent watercolors. I think that would be overkill. I do enjoy putting some gold pearlescent watercolors, like a circle behind someone, like a character, but I haven't really gotten into the colorful pearlescent colors. But who knows? I do like to give things a solid try. I think lately I've been really liking to use things that I don't really like and trying to find a way to use them in my style or just in the way I work and the way I make art. I think if you really try to make things work, you can find a way that they can, you know, get into your, your style of working. So who knows? Who knows what can happen? So far I'm not a fan, but they are. I do like the more bronze, the bronze color is really nice. I think some of these colors work better and felt better than others. I think I'm wanting to gravitate towards the metallic colors more than the random colorful colors. All right, there you go. There's our pearlescent watercolors. I think the consistency in each one was really different. Some were thicker, some were thinner, some were more transparent. Like I said, I think I do want to gravitate towards these more metallic colors. I just think they look better as a pearlescent color, but who knows? We will try to make use of Maybe more of these more colorful colors. Oh, I almost forgot our Derwent watercolor pencil. 
I think I'm going to use this to ink my drawings instead of using a pen like I normally would. I think I'm going to stick to just the watercolor and the pencil. I think it would be really fun to do some brown line art instead of black. It might add a really nice earthiness. Maybe I'll fall in love with it. Who knows? You never know when you try stuff. Oh, that turned from a really dark brown to a kind of ruddy brown. All right, well, I have swatched all of our materials, so I'm actually really excited. We're going to do some Pokemon from memory. I'm going to go on to my computer and look up a random Pokemon generator. It's gonna give me 10 names, and I'm just gonna draw those Pokemon as best as I can from memory, and then mail these off to you guys. So if you want to enter the giveaway to get these cards, check out the link in the description. All right, here we go, I'm excited. All right, okay, I open this up and it looks like there's a bug that got squished. I hope it wasn't an ant. All right, here we go. I'm on randompokemon.com, no sprites, all six generations. So the six generation is gonna be very interesting if I get one. And let's get our first Pokemon. We have Breloom. Okay, so I kind of know what Breloom looks like. I know it's like a mushroom dinosaur. I'm gonna go, we're gonna go vertical for this one. So Breloom, I think has like a mushroom head, hat or something. I'm already losing confidence. I'm just gonna put its eyes on the side of its head because why not? I know you have little hands, but with like, I believe two little claws. I think they're red. I'm pretty sure Brilliant looks a lot cuter than what I'm drawing. <laughs> but I kind of also want to stylize it, so I don't know. Okay. Oh my goodness. Brilliant, I'm sorry! <laughs> I think I made the neck too long, but you know. That's a that's a Brilliant, y'all! So because I'm not going to be doing a line art with a pen, I thought I would just kind of make the make the pencils really light and then I'll put my watercolor on top of it. And then last, I will put some pencil on with the watercolor pencil. I'm sorry, I meant line work. Put some line work on top of it. Make it a little bit more like diarrhea, please. Perfect. Diarrhea, my favorite color. And I'm not even joking. Okay, so for the sake of convenience, I'm actually just going to use my regular brushes because this travel watercolor brush is just, they're not my favorite. And I guess it's meant more for travel. So let's just use a normal brush. Are its legs green? Like does it, the back of its body, is the back of its body green? Or just its legs green? <laughs> I guess I'm going for it. I, I thought of it. And now I'm just going for it. Okay, how is that red claw not dried? That is taking so long. I don't want to have to bust out my hair dryer, but I might have to. So beautiful and so accurate. Let's start adding some line work and finish this guy up. Let's see how bad I did. Google him. All right, we've got our watercolor pencil. Let's start adding some line work. I'm loving this brown for line work. I feel like I used to play around with different line colors when I did digital art, but not so much with traditional art. I should probably be trying that, huh? Guys, I really like the, the look of this pencil line work. I might be discovering something I, I really like. And the style is a lot more loose. I'm ready to see what uh, what Berloom really looks like. I'm scared, let's, let's Google them. Berloom, oh, huh. Hmm, well, you know, uh, a lot of things were wrong. He has red claws, so, and a green mushroom hat. Uh, he's got a, mm. look, I messed up, okay. All right, let's pick our next random Pokemon. Okay, I got Stuffle, which I think is that pink like stuffed bear from the most recent one. I hope, I think, we'll see. Okay, so he's kind of a tall boy, so I'm gonna go the tall route. And he's kind of got like a Dennis body. Oh gosh, I have no idea. Okay, um, he has like stripes or something. Wow, he really does look like Dennis. Why am I just drawing Dennis? I'm just realizing how much this guy looks like Dennis. 
Oh boy. Is this it? Is this seriously all I'm going to draw? I'm just kind of confused. Something about him, I know he's supposed to look like he's a stuffed animal, so there's like parts of him. Like, I think his ears look like they're str like he's wearing ears and they're not actually his ears or something. Does that make any sense? I really don't know the newer Pokemon. I, I'll be honest, I didn't even beat the newest Pokemon game. I, I got really close and then I just, I just stopped playing. <laughs> he just looks like a, an ice cream sandwich or something. Oh my word. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's that, that guy. I mean, his face seems very familiar, so I feel like I'm at least capturing maybe the essence of this Pokemon. I don't, I don't know. I'll be honest, I'm really not, really not sure about this one. No, <laughs> I mean, at least he's kind of cute, huh? I love this brown line art. Guys, this might be something I definitely need to play around with is different colored line art and pencils because I think I'm loving this right now. This is actually really, really neat. Okay, just because I can't resist, I'm going to do a few little hair bits because that's that's my style. I gotta, I gotta do it. It's gonna add so much more visual interest. <laughs> right now he's just kind of a blank canvas. Waiting to be haired. Hair me. All right, um, this is it. I think this is the end, the end of my stuffle. What do you guys think? I didn't add any metallic, but that's okay. All right, stuffle, what you look like. Oh my word, no! <laughs> I drew stuffle's evolved form, which is uh, beware. Dangle, and even so, my beware is actually not that bad. I mean, he's pretty bad. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, well, I drew the wrong Pokemon. That's okay. At least he's cute, right? Okay, let's get our third random Pokemon. Budu. Okay, I think Budu is just like a little round plant dude. He turns into the rose thing. All right, so I believe he's Gosh, I'm losing confidence. I thought I had this one, but I super don't. He kind of looks like a snowman. And he's like, uh, like stuff is wrapped around him. And he's got a little face. Oh gosh, I think he has little hands. Okay, those are very, those are like nipples. Those are not hands. Does he have hands? Maybe he doesn't have hands. Maybe he just has little, little feet. Let's give him a little flower. That's also a bud. So he has a friend. So I think he, or she, is a very bright light green and its face is more of a yellowy color. If I'm correct, and I'm probably not. Looks like a snow cone is sprouting out of the ground. That's fine. That's that's fine. I feel like he needs red in him somewhere, but I don't I don't recall there being red on it. I just feel like there should be red on it. So I'm not gonna put red on him. <laughs> okay, let's start uh penciling the line work. Also, still loving using this pencil as line work. I'm like, super in love with it. I feel like I've discovered a new way to use colored pencils in a way that I actually like. Heck yes. That makes me very happy. All right, there we go. There's our Budu. Let's see what Budu actually looks like. I'm scared, as usual. Hey, look at that. That is, I mean, I have the general idea of the Pokemon, but it's not exactly, you know, it's very close. You have to admit, pretty dang close. The best one yet didn't give it arms because it doesn't have arms. Heck yeah. Okay, let's see what our fourth random Pokemon from memory is. 
ducklet. Okay, I remember this one a little bit. I mean, it's a blue duck, just with some extra details that I'm definitely going to forget. Okay, let's see, your duck. So you have a beak, I would assume. I don't think he has hair things, but I'm gonna give him hair things because I feel like if I don't, I don't I feel like he'll just be a, a blue duck. He's one of the less creative Pokemon. He's just a blue duck, I think. Does he have like a cloud booty or something? Like he's all puffy? I think that's it. I I don't know. He's a he's a duck. What what do you want from me? Alright, let's get some light blue. Because all I know about this guy is that he's a light, light blue duck. Alright, I'm pretty sure that his beak and feet are just basic yellow. This sure is a duck. <laughs> Alright, let's get in on that line art situation. <laughs> let's end this boy. End his sad, sad life. This kind of looks more like a swan than it does a duck, but um, you know how that is. There is a swan Pokemon. Does he turn into the swan Pokemon? Hmm. Oops, I guess I was kind of quiet while uh, penciling this guy, but he's pretty much done. Um, all right, let's see what, uh, what Ducklet looks like. Okay, okay, cool. So I wasn't super off. He does just look like a duck. I made his head too small. He's not, my version's not cute. He does have the two little things on his head. He does have a poofy booty situation. Other than my style looking like complete garbage and making him ugly, you know, I think I did pretty good. <laughs>
I just put my brush in my water cup. I don't think I can call myself a Pokemon fan after this one. This is just... Wow, I cannot wait for the giveaway to end so that I can get this cursed image out of my, my home. This is gonna give me nightmares. All right, here we go, let's, let's line this disaster. I mean, he's kind of cute in his own way, but oh man. I mean, it might be horrible, but it's still kind of cute. Okay, who's ready to find out just how bad this is? Okay, well, <laughs> So there's a few things uh, I got right, but obviously a few things I got wrong. I mean, there you go. <laughs> All right, who's ready for our next Pokemon? We've got, ooh, okay, this one is so on brand. It's Cacnea, the, the cactus Pokemon. Pretty sure this is the first evolution, so it's, he's like a little round, Ball. Does he have a crown or does that, is that the evolution? I was kind of confident and um, quickly losing that confidence. This is too cute. I'm pretty sure that Pokemon is not cute at all. Does he have a flower? This does not look like that Pokemon. This looks like a Digimon more than it does a Pokemon. Well, anyways, I've been putting all these Pokemon in grass, but Cactus are in deserts, so I'm gonna put him on dirt, cause he's in a desert. Yeah, this looks like a Pokemon for sure. Definitely doesn't look like a ripoff Pokemon or something. Oh gosh. Well, there you go. Um, there's our little, oops, I just put dirty paint in there. There's our little doodle. All right, let's line this little dude. You know I gotta add those cactus needles in my style. Heck yeah. Oh no, he just turned really creepy. When I lined the eyeballs, it just got super creepy. Oh no. It's a little creepier than I uh, anticipated this getting. Oh no. Don't be scary, little dude. You're supposed to be cute. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. <gasps> I have so many regrets. I mean, I don't know, it's... It's cute in its own way, I just... I don't think Cacnea is supposed to be a spooky looking Pokemon, so I'm like, oh no! That wasn't supposed to happen. Alright! I think... I think our little dude's done! Um... Alright, let's, let's look up what Cacnea is supposed to look like. See how bad I did. Cacnea. Oh, yeah, he's, oh, he does have a crown. I was right. And he's a lot more spiky. Oh, but you know what? He is kind of creepy looking. He's like a cactus jack-o-lantern, except it's even more creepy because it has actual eyeballs inside that empty, empty head. Oh gosh, it's a little creepy. A little actually creepier than mine. Kind of like mine. All right, who's next? Oh, Jumpluff. Okay, so I feel like I feel like I can nail this one. All right, so he's a big blue ball. He's got a tiny face. Y'all, I'm gonna nail this one. It's about time I was able to come back. Heck yes. He's pretty easy, I think. Oh gosh, if I get this one wrong, it's gonna be kind of sad, huh? Oh gosh, he looks very creepy with white eyes. We need to remedy that quickly. Oh, I want to give him cheeks. I know he doesn't have cheeks, but I'm going to give him cheeks because it's cute. Ah, this is the best one. He's so adorable. I love him. Let's keep layering on the puff texture to make a shadow. Okay, so I think just to add some decoration, I'm just going to do some little confettis around this guy and because I really actually like the way this looks lineless especially the little poofs I'm just going to do some spot line art instead of full line art I like the way it looks like a painted style so I'm just gonna put some line art 
where the darkest parts are on this little guy. Add a little bit, a little bit of line work to the puffs. Mainly sticking to the darkest areas. And yeah, I think this little guy is done. I absolutely love him. Let's see if I, if I did the right one. <gasps> I did it. He's perfect. Okay, fine. The only one mistake I have is that that's not supposed to be a green stem. It's supposed to be a white stem, but you know what? I love him. All right, let's go on to the next one. Okay, our next Pokemon is Trubbish. I think, I think, is that the first evolution? Oh gosh, I think that's the first evolution. I think the next one is Garburator or something. Garbador, which I do like these Pokemon, though I've never really, I don't think I've ever really drawn it before. I already feel so lost, oh boy. Angry mouth. Oh gosh, wait, hold up, this looks bad. Hold on, let me restart. I gotta restart. What? <laughs> Does he have hands? Does he have garbage for hands? Or is that the other guy? I think I will make him, because he's supposed to be like a city Pokemon, he's gonna be not on grass, but on a sidewalk where the garbage is. All right, Garbo boy, here we go. All right, let's see. I think he's got some shapes in him to represent sort of garbage. You know, square red garbage, purple triangle garbage, maybe even some green circle garbage. I actually think he has small pupils, but I like to give things big pupils, so that's what I'm doing. Look at that. All right, I think that pretty much sums up this little dude. Um, let's see how uh, how accurate he is. Okay. Uh. Oh. Okay. I mean, he's pretty accurate. He's just a little. He's a little off in some ways. All right. Moving on. All right. Here we go. Our tenth and last Pokemon from memory. Let's see who we got. Boofalant. Bofal Bofalant? That sounds like an elephant. I have no idea what this Pokemon is. Oh my word. Boofalant. Bofalant. Bouquet? Flowers? Is there a flower elephant? Wait, what about that dream thing? Is that a thing? Does that dream flower pink thing evolve oh my gosh i have no idea all right well um there's no way to go out like a horrible horrible don't know what i'm doing drawing okay so i know there's that dream pokemon that looks like this it's like asleep or something oh my god i don't even know what that looks like it has like flowers on it you know, this will be a good time to use those iridescent watercolors that I have not been touching. Oopsie doopsies. I'm just gonna make up my own thing. We're gonna make this look like a crazy Pokemon. Because I don't know what else to do because I don't know what this looks like. Oh gosh. What? What? It, what? It, <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't know what it's like feet situation is like. Oh my goodness, um, does this thing have ears? I don't even know. This does not look like a Pokemon, is the thing. Wow, I have no idea. Well, I don't know, I don't know what this is. Bo Bofalant. Frankly, this is terrifying. This looks like a elephant fetus or something. What? What is, what is this Pokemon? Huh, um... Sure, we have a floating elephant. That's all I got. I honestly have no idea. Um, that's, that's what I'm going with. Okay, so, I don't know, it's pink, right? Wow, I don't know what I'm doing. There you go, that's what this Pokemon looks like, right? All right, well, there's 
that. There, there sure is that. All right, I'm ready to see just how bad that was. Oh my, <laughs> oh my. That is the, the Buffalo Pokemon. That is not even, not even the same. It's just not even, wow, okay. Uh, should've, should've just, yeah, okay. Yep, there you go. There you go, everybody. Uh, a disaster. Okay, so the Pokemon I was drawing was Musharna. The evolution of Muna, I think? Didn't, didn't do that one right. <laughs> Once again, thank you so much to Palletful for sending me this box. There was so many watercolor products and paper to last me quite a while. Check out the link in the description if you want to get your own Palletful box and if you want to enter the giveaway to win one of these wonderful Pokemon drawing postcards in the mail. All you have to do is just say you want to enter. Twitter and Instagram will probably be bonus entries. Good luck to all of you and thank you so much for watching. Bye!